वेलकम अगेन दिस इज आलोक श्रीवास्तव सो लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड इंस्टॉल द रेल सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू फोकस इन इज गिविंग यू द थिंग्स विच आर न्यू इन रेल एट राइट सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट्स अ वेरी क्विक वीडियो अ फास्ट वीडियो लाइक अ स्नैप ऑफ फिंगर्स बट नॉट बाई थैनॉस सो वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू एड अ हार्ड डिस्क एंड ट्राई टू क्रिएट अ पार्टीशन सो एट जस्ट स्टॉप दिस वर्चुअल मशीन सो लेट्स एडिट इट फर्स्ट एंड एड अ न्यू हार्ड डिस्क क्लिक ऑन द हार्ड डिस्क add a new hard disk hard disk click next move next create a new virtual disk and then and then i will just add a 10 gb of hard disk which will be good for me more than enough and give it a name just ignore it if if you want to customize it then it's good otherwise that will do so i have got a one more 10 gb hard disk is there which is available to me and this 35 gb is already being used by the operating system So just click OK here, and then I can start and uh, move on and start the VM. So let's start it. So it's starting up. Press Enter, obviously. So finally, we have got our machine started. Let's log in here. whatever the password is give the password so we the change here is that in rel 8 i really like this in rel 8 i'll open the terminal as usual just increase the font size for you so what the difference here is that it's always good to be root right so the difference here is that in rel 8 they have uh, move to the gpt partition schemes instead of the earlier in rel 7 they used to use the mbr so if if i go back slightly in the history of mbr so it has been started since i think in 1980s if i'm not wrong so mbr partition like the partitioning scheme it actually mandates or it controls that how the disks are partitioned on the system using the bios and all the things so if you guys remember my previous rel 7 videos on rcsa there i had very clearly explained you that the your uh, 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 sorry i dropped something so it uh, uses just a minute i have to settle myself down right so it uses maximum the mbr uses maximum four primary partitions right and then we have to create one extended partition and inside extended partitions i have to use logical partition so maximum 15 partitions can be created why because the partition size data is stored means the information is stored in uh, in a 32 bit values so i can have maximum 15 partition and the one partition size maximum partition size can be of 2 terabytes nothing more than 2 terabytes you can create as a partition in mbr now in rel 8 guys they from mbr is gone boom and they have shifted to gpt partition schemes so gpt as it runs on uefi right unified extensible firmware interface so it is now the standard for creating the partitions on the hard disk and it obviously uh, is has already replaced the mbr because it it has got certain benefits so benefits is that where the mbr was able to give only 15 partitions now with gpt partition scheme which is the de facto in rel 8 i am able to use 128 partitions yes you have heard me right 128 partitions so and it uses a 64 bit address location for the your your partitions so that is very good and it allows uh, the disk up to 8 zeta byte so in maximum partition size in mbr was 2 terabytes whereas the maximum partition size in gpt is 8 zeta byte so that's great that's great so apart from this uh, like other benefit is that it uses the globally unique identifier or we call it the guid to uh, like identify every disk and the partition which is in different with a mbr and what happens is that in the gpt the main the primary partition table means how many partitions are there ev ev everything 
is stored at the starting point of the hard disk and a backup copy is also stored at the, at the end of the hard disk. So the GPT uses the checksums actually to pick any errors or corruptions there. So right, enough of the uh, of talking, enough of explaining you the things. So we can move ahead safely in creating a partition. So let's do this small lab here. So the usually the same command I will be giving. If I give now one more thing is that now Reddit recommends using parted instead of the the evdis the old trusted friend fdes is gone now we have a new friend the parted so i can try showing you with fdes so just a minute is it not working yeah it is working so if i give a fdes hyphen l it's showing me this my 10 gb of space so if i and i can use the parted so i give dev and you can specify sorry you can specify your partition so if i do a fdes hyphen l this is the disk which is being recognized by this number i'll be explaining you this number i can copy this so that makes my life much more easier so i give parted and then whatever the device number is and then ask this print so it tells you that this is the partition i i don't have any partitions here so if i repeat the same step for the first disk so try using parted print so here it shows you the partition table if if you see here it's around 32 35 gb of hard disk and i've got two partitions xfs xfs one is the boot other is the root and i've got a linux partition so it shows me in MBs and GBs, those that makes my life much more easier. But I don't want to use this hard disk. I want to use this hard disk two and two. So how to create partitions here? So use this and just press enter. That's it. So you will be getting a new prompt here. Welcome here. So you can use a lot of things like help to get all the options available here. Here I had given the command. So all the options are are available here. Make partition, print, quit rescue that's great i'll just do a con uh, like clear the screen by using control l i simply give print so you might take some time to get accustomed to the parted one because we had been using fdis for long so it's time to move on so this is the current partition table which i have got obviously i don't have any partitions here so i can like uh, if you wish you can do a quit here to quit from the location so so by default parted will like display the sizes in the power of kbs mbs gbs so that can be done and if you wish like see see here if i give this it shows me in mbs gbs kbs which is good but in case you wanted to revert to the old uh, like the default naming convention or like you wanted to see it in sector and bytes so though it is not very user friendly i'll show it to you this is much better than using or trying to get the size in sectors which is not a good thing right so i am more comfortable getting the size like this rather than trying to calculate my whole life what is going on so that's not a good thing but yes that can be done so once you have done this so now we can move on to uh, creating a new partition we can create a new partition so first you have to write your disk I like attach a label to it and then we can create the partition so how can you create a partition here we use the MK part so if I move again I'm using the disk number two use this you'd use the print there are no partitions here right so I give here mk part so if i give here mk part and press enter it says oh this is unrecognized disk this is an unrecognized disk label so first we need to assign it a label right so how to do it it's very simple just quit from here so that's a word of caution so use your disk here give parted your disk give it a label mk label make label 
and give it a name so i use this command to write the mbr disk label write a disk label to the hard disk and but i will be using the gpt label so what i use i use mk label and use gpt that this is to be used with the gpt so once you have done this that i intend to create the partitioning based on the gpt so you have to like put a label here so once it is done i can try giving the same command here and give mk part now see now it's 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 working so you can not forget this this is going to be uh, i think exam question also as far as my knowledge goes so nda comes into the picture not the nda as the bjp non disclosure agreement yeah it's classified right so what do you want to say partition name i can specify any name here or uh so i can give it a name say data which type i say ext2 okay let it be ext2 so i can write here <coughs> start point perfect so you can change if 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 you want to use a xfs just write here xfs so i'm not using it for now just trying to make it simple for you so it says where is the start point right so if you are in doubt so what you can do i'll show it to you open one more tab i've just paused it for you you can get the help oh what's the password am i giving the wrong password no it's the right password so you can give parted your device name your device name is uh, this one copy this i'm trying to make you smart enough to get the help so you get help mk part so because this is what we are going we are going to create the partition so mk part it says file system type start and end so file system can be any of this ext4 ext3 fat so means here i can use any of these partitions as i always say don't cram the things please don't cram the things i have seen a lot of times students are cramming the things don't cram it don't mug up the commands machine gives you help we should be smart enough to understand how to take help and get my life much more easier so this is you can uh, these are the partition types so start and end are the disk location say 4 gb or 10% negative values simply means count from the end of the disk so if i say is 1s that means exactly the last sector so you can get it so you can specify your disk types so if i give here print right so that's my gb and i i don't have any uh, like partition here right so what i do here i can if i put here the sector size i i can give the start and end sector or i can specify the size in gb say 4 gb or 10% and these are the types of the of the partitions so for now if i move on to uh like the start point right so i i can specify it in uh, values like mbs gbs tbs so mb is the default one right so when you you start it you can say i say i say i say okay i give 2048 sector start with this end now end either i can specify in terms of sectors or i can specify in terms of gbs mbs so if i say 1000 mb 1000 mb or, or i say 2000 mb so that simply means end at 2000 so i must have been created a partition of 2 gb right so now once it is done you can move further and if i exit from here if 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 i do a quit from here remember whenever you do 
any changes with the part head if if you go back to fdis we always used to give part probe so instead of part probe one, one the next thing which has changed in the rel is that you need to give udev admin settle so this is your counterpart for the part probe command in rel right so if i give i'll show you one one more way i'll show you one more way to create it so if i uh, clear the screen and give this command again sorry 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 not this just i say print so you will see here i have got a partition of 2 gb the name was data so that is one way of creating the partitions now once the partition is created feel free to use mkfs and all those things and alternate way is that i can also uh, uh like create it in a interactive mode interactive mode means i can specify it so i'll show you if you say unit if you remember that command which i had shown you that you you want to see the information in units so if i give this command print right it shows the size in mbs and gbs but if i say unit sector so it shows me in sector so that's the starting point that's the ending point sector so i can uh, create a partition in a interactive way like we call it a interactive way rather than using the menu i can pass the whole command on the screen how like this i say parted that's something interesting in dev and we i mean i'll be coming on to it what this naming means right i say mk part right and this is my uh, like partition table so i can specify primary or extended i will not going to do it because that might be slightly confusing so here i i i can say 390 sector and then and it say at 1 gb 1 mb so means start from this sector start from this sector and end at 1 gb so even that can be done but the best part is you should use the parted command which i had already told you so that's the easy way of uh, like creating it so once the partition is created i can use the ls blk sorry you will see i have got a hard disk with some approximately 2 gb of the space is there so what next obviously i need to uh format it right so if i show here print it's the device so i need to format this and if i give a fdis hyphen l this will also work yeah so pick this partition copy this simple stuff and again use the mkfs or whatever see this is it this is the partition table 2 so i'm using the 2 and this is my dos partition table starting point this is my root this is my swap so once it is done i can use my mkfs dot ext4 or whatever and the partition this is the one which i was i got from my f disk output if you remember this yeah p1 partition 1 job done and if i give a blk id it's showing up that it is of ext4 because i had used the ext4 partition table so this is done now once the partition is there i've got the uuid i can copy this create a folder say my data whatever open my fs tabs on now that is same thing there is no change here copy this mounted on my data file system is ext4 i said default 00 save and come out from here and as usual there is no changes here you can do mount all right but in rel a you need to give a very new thing that is your 
demon reload or you need to do a reboot so make sure that whenever you do fs tab changes any changes in the in the fs tab you need to do system ctl demon reload and whenever you create any partition using the partis you are like the parted command you need to give udev admin settle so instead of part probe we have got udev admin settle and instead of mount all we have got system ctl demon reload so i can check it by ls blk and you can use the option iphone iphone file system type so it also shows you that which file system type is available so i can if i can simply increase it so i think that will be much better for you so in this way you will be able to get that these are the hard disks and these are the partitions available but and if if i give a df hyphen h and and, and 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 try to check it by if if i give mount all it shows df hyphen h so please do that system ctl daemon reload also and then when for doing your uh, permanent mounting and to activate it use mount all mount a which we always use using the or you can reboot the machine if you wish instead of using the system ctl demon reload but it is better to use it so this is it so use the mount a df hyphen h so here you have created a partition using the parted command formatted it mounted it and used it so i hope this is something new and is going to be very important from all the perspective so bye bye take care godspeed i'll see you again